Spectral photometers offer many functions such as reaction kinetics and complex multi-step and multi-wavelength measurement procedures. Here we've got a sample and want to determine its spectral characteristics. We pipette some of the sample into an empty round cell. First of all, we set the wavelength range that we want to analyze. We run the spectrum from 190 to 1100 nanometers and put in these values. We are now going to compare the spectrum with a reference spectrum and we can see clear discrepancies. So a spectrum can be used in quality control of substances, for example to monitor incoming goods. In wine analysis, color is an important quality characteristic. It is used by bottling companies for quality control of incoming goods and is used by wine producers to characterize the wine. The difference in color between a rosé and red wine is obvious. First of all, I'll determine the color nuance of the red wine. Color nuance is the absorbance ratio between 420 and 520 nanometers. In other words, two wavelengths are measured and then calculated against each other. We have a reading of 0.78. For us, this means that it falls in the violet range. Now we measure the rosé. The ratio, once again, is between 420 and 520 nanometers, and we get a reading of 1.43. This color nuance means that it falls in the yellow-orange range. Besides the color nuance, we can also determine the color intensity, the sum of the absorbances of three wavelengths, 420, 520 and 620 nanometers are calculated. For the red wine we get a reading of 9.23, and for the rosé it is 0.48. Using chlorophyll as an example, I will show that photometers can also be used for multi-step application measurements. To do this, we are going to measure a chlorophyll sample directly after extraction and after the pH has been changed by acidifying the sample. First we enter the total volume of the sample and then the volume of the extraction, 5 milliliters. The next step is to take a reading of the chlorophyll sample from the direct extract. After acidification, we take another reading. The ratio of the two absorbance values is used to calculate the total amount of chlorophyll. Today, spectrophotometers come with pre-programmed methods. User-specific and complex programs can be defined. Today, the devices are simple and versatile in their handling, and even inexperienced users can achieve good results.